My name is Dr. Swinkman. Can I just ask your name and your age? Hello, Doctor. My name is Peter. I'm 69 years old. Pleased to meet you, Peter. Thank you. I would just like to do an examination today to see if your digestive system is working well. But it's just a general exam where I'll be looking at your hands, looking at your face, just touching your feet as well. Would that be all right with yes, you? Yes, please. Okay, yes. good. So I'm first going to wash my hands. I'm going to ask you to take your shirt or for me. If you had a vest on, that would also be fine. But if you take the shirt off, then you can just do the full examination. Firstly, I can notice Ned, that you're not that you're not at the moment ill, acutely ill, or that you don't have any chronic illness. I can also see that there's no there's no jaundice and that you're not confused. And just looking in the environment, there's no vomiting bowl and there, you don't have a nasal gastric tube in place. All right, so now I'd like to look at your hands, please. Okay, so looking at your hands, there is no leukonychia, no sign of polyonychia. And if I can ask you to do this for me, all right, there's no sham the shamrock's window is there, so there's no clubbing. And there's also no sign of porphyria pitania type. That's just the skin illness that you can get. Keep turn your hand over for me. There's no sign there of a dupitrin's contracture, and there's also no palmer erythema and also no palmer uh, pallor present at all. Now I'm just going to ask you to do something for me. Just stretch your hands out and just very good. And then I'll ask you to just, just close, uh, keep them like that for me, stretched out, and close your eyes for me. And then ideally we'd like to do that for 30 seconds, but we're going to move on now to the next part. You can relax, that was excellent. Now we're going to do your vital signs. Um, it's just as a reminder, we're not actually going to, to do them, but usually you would do that. The pulse, the blood pressure, the temperature, and also the respiratory rate. So let's say we've done all that, and now we're going to move on to the examination of the arms. So looking at both your arms, I can see that there's no bleed, sign of bleeding, so bruising, pinpoint bruising like the TK or bigger bruises like ecchymosis. There's no sign that you've been scratching yourself and thankfully there's no sign that you've been using IV drugs. So I'm very grateful to see that. And also looking at your arms, there's no sign that your muscles are, are atrophied or that there's wasting of the muscles. Now I would just like to look under your arms and I can't see any discoloration there. We call it acanthosis nigricans, and sometimes chronic disease is causing. And also, what I would like to do is to examine the lymph nodes. So usually we will do that, but we're going to move on now to the next step. Looking at your face now, can I just ask that you take your glasses off for me? Okay. And then can I ask you just to do this for me, just to... I can't see any pallor there of the conjunctiva, you can let go. And if you can look up for me, please. Now I can see the sclera quite clearly, and I can see there's no yellowing or no jaundice present there. Now I'm also looking around the eyes because sometimes with livid lesions you can get some fat deposits, what we call it xanthalasmata, it's not present. And then also your eyebrows, the color of your eye is normal, there's no abnormal ring, which we call a Kaiser flash ring when you sign of eye writers, and there are also no, no beta spots present in the eye. Next, we're going to look here to the parotid glands. They are normal, they're not enlarged at all, and then we're going to move on and just going to look at your, at your mouth. First, I'm going to look at the lips. There's no abnormal pigmentation of the lips. There's no sores or what we call um, stom stomatitis, angular stomatitis present. And if I can ask you just to open your mouth for me, and tell me, do you have any dentures present? And are they are they comfortably fitting? If you can maybe just remove them for me for a moment, okay? And then I'm going to look if you just open up for me. There's no sign of decay, there's no sign of, of the gums of gingivitis or of gingival hypertrophy. Looking on his tongue, there's no leukoplakia, there's no oral thrush, there's no stomatitis at all. And there's also no mouth ulcers that could be indicative of Crohn's disease. So you can put your dentures back in. Thank you so much, sir. All right. And then I'm also just going to ask 
um, I'm, just, I'm just noticing that they, you don't, don't have any um, sign of liver failure, which you can sometimes pick up if someone has a very strong breath, but uh, you don't have any, <laughs> any trouble with that at all. And then also just looking at, at your lymph nodes. There's a particular lymph node here, the hyperprosiate gland, which is one of the, the neck lymph nodes that is just here uh, above the collarbone. That could also be a problem, but that doesn't seem to be the case for you. Next, we're going to look at the chest. There's no sign of gynecomastia, which could also be indicative of liver disease, and there are no signs of, of spider knee by present. All right, so next I'm going to move on to your legs. You just, put your, just bend your knees for me slightly. I do apologize for my cold hands. So we're looking here for pyoderma gangrenosum, which can sometimes be, sometimes some of the chronic illnesses of the bowel can cause that. It's, it's some lesions here on the skin that's not present at all. Also, I'm just going to feel for any swelling there. There's no swelling present there. And then um, I'm just going to look if there's any clubbing of the those, there are no abnormalities of your toenails at all. All right, just lastly, I can see that you've got a scar on the chest that's not specifically relevant to the gastrointestinal system. I just want to ask why that was. Oh, uh, hard white was it? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And that would also mean that this is the, the reason for the scar here. Yeah, all right, well, that completes the first part of the gastrointestinal system, and I can then we gratefully say to you that you look absolutely fine, no sign of acute illness, no hand signs, and no facial signs, and no signs on your chest or your lower limbs of any digestive disease. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mr. Peter. I appreciate it. Now I'm just going to wash my hands again now. Mm -hmm.